Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be shooting the Harper's Ferry once again. And today we're going to actually be testing out some accuracy tests. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot three round balls, packing it in standard with a ball and wad. And then we're going to try out some conical bullets. We're actually going to shoot the Smith bullet, which is a 515 caliber, through this um, 54 caliber smoothbore. Now I know it's not the absolute uh, most... Um, tight group, uh, tight bullet you can put in here, but however it will be paper patched. Uh, you'll see when I load it that the uh, the actual paper cartridge that, that it made is lubed and it also has an, a layer of paper around it, so giving it a much tighter fit. So one thing I want to know is what kind of accuracy, if any, can I get with a conical bullet out of a smooth bore and we'll see if they actually fly straight or if they'll tumble. So anyways guys, Let's go ahead and see what the Harper's Ferry can do. Alright guys, we're at 21 meters or uh, 63 feet. First shot, round ball. Third shot. <coughs> Alright guys, let's go see how we did. Alright guys, we took three shots, loading the pistol as is, like normal with uh, just a wadded, uh, a, uh, a lubed wad and a uh, round ball. And we hit. This is the first shot, here's the second shot, and here's the third shot. So, a very large spread at 21 meters, uh, but uh, it's, I mean, it's pretty much standard for the day for smoothbore pistols. I mean, you're not going to get a whole lot of accuracy from that far away, but I'll tell you what you will get. Is you will hit your guy. I mean, I'm probably scored a gut shot here, a pelvis shot, and then one probably, you know, if I was in right here, right in the heart. So, not exactly a nail driver, but we do, we are getting hits. So, let's go ahead, mark these holes, and we'll shoot the uh, paper cartridges out of them. Alright, guys, so. These are the paper cartridges I made. I made one. It's got just got ball and powder, and it's got the lube bottom on it. Uh, I just made one of these just to see how it works. But what we're going to be focusing on is these. This has a 515 conical bullet inside the paper. It's uh, it's got lube at the bottom right here, so a little bit easier to go in and out of the bore. Uh, not like it's a extremely tight fit, anyways. But it's got 35 grains of powder, they both do. 515 caliber ball, um, conical. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and see how these fare up to just loading it standard. Paper cartridges, uh, just follow suit, you know, pour the paper in. Then this one I turn around. Break it off. Ramrod. Shove it down in there. And we'll cap it off. See how it does. Oh, I can tell you right now, guys, it's a lot easier to load. But, however, we might be sacrificing an accuracy. So, first shot, conical through a smooth bore. Okay. 
Alright guys, second shot. Conical through a smooth bore. Now the more and more fouling I get, hopefully the more and more better accuracy I'll get with these. I don't think so though. Third shot. Alright, let's go take a look. Alright guys, well first shot was right here as you can see from the shape it's almost a perfect conical which means it tumbled a lot second shot right here once again another perfect shape of a conical in fact you can almost see the uh, the grease grooves in the uh, where, where it cut it out here that's that's actually pretty impressive it, it's like a cookie cutter and once again tumbled a lot third shot I intentionally aimed a little low because I could see holes appearing up here. So I actually aimed down to right here and I got this one. Now this one's almost a perfect circle. However, it, it is shown to be tumbling a little bit. So once again, a third tumble. Anyways guys, just to let you know, I still would not want to get hit with any one of these three because I guarantee you, hitting me with a 360 grain conical bullet tumbling from this range, you ain't gonna live from it. Would you take it to battle knowing this? Absolutely not. But if you did hit somebody with it, well you just score two chest shots and a and a and a sternum shot, so not real good to be hit by those. So now we know that these actually hold I would actually say a better uh, better group in line with the target than the balls. But I think that's just because they actually just weigh more uh, than the uh, than the round balls. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a shot with that round ball paper cartridge and see how that does. All right, guys, the round ball cartridge, a mix between the two. So, let's see if that does anything. Good seal, I could tell already. Let's cap it off, see what she does. Alright, guys, paper cartridge round ball. Essentially, it's just the same amount of powder, a round ball packed with a paper wadding. Let's see if it does anything different. Alright, I can tell a lot less kick on that one. Um, just because way it just didn't get a good seal like you would with a uh, a lewd wad or a heavier ball, so let's go see how that one did. This looks like that round hit right there. So if I was aiming for a guy right in the middle of his chest, I would probably have scored a uh, a liver shot. Looks like it's holding about the same accuracy as the rest of the round balls. All right, guys. So what we've pretty much learned is you need rifling to stabilize a conical. That's why our forefathers put rifling in their pistols uh, when it came down to using the more conical style uh, bullets. Uh, from what we found out is that it's not a tack driver by no means, uh, to, no matter what you use. However, you will hit whatever you're aiming at if it is a man-sized target at about 21 meters. Once again, the smoothbore has its limitations. That's why... Uh, more innovations were to come, but however, I'm still having a blast with this smoothbore pistol, and once again, I highly suggest that anybody that doesn't have one of these, go pick yourself up one. It's a great shooter. Uh, any type of black powder pistol of the single shot variety, it's it's just fun. And guys, uh, I'll probably have a 
couple more videos to come of the Harper's Ferry. Absolutely fun to shoot. But I think I have in mind, maybe since it's a smooth bore, I might make it where I can shoot a little bit of shot out of this. So stay tuned. Anyways, guys, remember to friend, subscribe, like, and I'll have more videos to come. Peace.